this is the meeting. This is the meeting room, classroom. Uh, we teach up to 2,500 kids a year, you know, out here or in other places mm -hmm. we go to. Uh, even at Circle B, we teach classes out there. Uh, right here. And uh, we have, of course, the projector up there drops down and you know, teach about birds and teach about butterflies and moths and plants and creatures, just wildlife. Trying to, trying to let the children know what is out there because most kids are on their iPhones and their <laughs> computers and they never get out of the house. So we hope to, to try to encourage them to get back into nature like they used to be when I was a kid. Where you lived in nature all the time, you know. And uh, so this, this is it. we have a nice, uh, place nice. We have a beautiful kitchen. It's available to be used. Uh, so see, it's all it's nice. And this is the pantry area. So I'm assuming if people want to uh, rent the house for a day, they could do that. Yeah, you can rent the place. Uh, we had we just had a wedding out here uh, a couple weekends ago. It's a fully commercialized kitchen. Uh, uh, the, the back porch out here is uh, uh, open. If you have a large group, we open these doors and, and it's, uh, the air flux way out here, so it's a nice long porch. Now, from what I understand, this house is about 80 years old and it was moved to this, this location? House old, this house is 100 years old. Oh, 100, okay. So, the cottage I live in is over 100 years old. And uh, this house is uh, uh, all out of orange cedar. And it's uh, most termites, respectful termites, won't even waste their time with it. Because <laughs> it's so hard and the wood is nice. But you did get some some uh, damaged wood out here from, we try to keep the uh, vegetation away from the house so it doesn't rot, you know, because you get damaged that way. But uh, have a pond out here that they uh, put in. And the pond uh, has all kinds of wildlife in it, of course. And, uh, the trails, we have two miles of trails. Uh, you can come out here and walk, kids can go for, you know, trail riding. Uh, they can even ride their bikes if they want to. Some of them do. It's a little rough, but for kids, they don't mind it. And dog walking if you want to take your dog. Dog walking, you know, you bring dogs out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, just try to, if you bring dogs out, try to, you know, not mess up the place and, you know, clean up mm -hmm. after yourself, especially around the houses. So, uh, we have a uh, screech owl. In this uh, nest out here, uh, we usually have them every year. We have nests around the different places in the park, and the screech owls come there every year around and around in, in, in the winter time to from January and March to you know, February and March. And stuff. Yeah, I noticed you had some turtle nests out there. Yes, turtle nests. <clears throat> we have uh, uh, several turtle nests all over the property. Uh, those you can see, we have two that you can see there, but there's others up in the wooded area, and there's um, not just they're just a gopher turtle, but they also have some of the shell, uh, you know, the uh, box turtles. And the soft shells, and I'm assuming, soft shell, and red eared sliders. Yes, they're, you know, they're, they, they're out here, and they, you know, they lay their eggs out here. And, you know, you catch them occasionally. And this is this is a little display room here. Uh, a few displays people have given us and some things that have uh, been uh, donated. Some of the uh, statues they had, or the uh, stuffed animals are gone. They, they used to have them all lined up here and have an eagle over here. But they take them out to show them at different schools and different places. <clears throat> this is some of the stuff they teach from here. And, uh, Sometimes the lilies are blooming in a barn, different kinds of times of the year. And, uh, so. and this is just a 
another another classroom here. It's used occasionally when you have a large crowd. It's an overflow. But right now it's uh, it's just stored with we have stored our uh, supplies that we're teaching kids. And you can see the butterfly and the different types of uh, creatures we have that we teach the children about. And a uh, hornet's nest there behind you. And how often do you have um, classes come down here? We have classes all the time. You can go to our website at uh, lakeregionaudubon.org and you can pick up on the classes. Uh, in the, we, we, we have more classes in the fall of the year where the um, snowbirds come down. We have a lot more people, of course. And uh, Garden Grove School brings people out here for classes and other schools. We have homeschoolers come out here and um, elementary schools that come out and, and uh, we give classes. And uh, this is most of the storage room now that we take over to the big room where we teach classes. And you see we teach about spiders, teach about fossils, uh, reptiles, uh, you know, bugs of all kinds and butterflies and bees. And, uh, anything about nature. Do you have any big cats around here, panthers, bobcats? We have uh, uh, bobcats. Um, there's actually been sighting, I've seen two, since I've been here, I've been here 10 years, and I've seen two bear, two black bear. Uh, uh, I don't want to see any more, actually. <laughs> but, uh, we, but bobcats are out here quite often. And, of course, we have the regular animals, the coons and the uh, possums and the armadillos. And, Nothing bigger than a bobcat, I've seen, other than a, than a bear. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the history of this house? Um, well, this uh, this is uh, the Street family, uh, Luella and uh, Norman Street. They had a uh, large citrus uh, farm plantation here, and it extended way up. Way, it was, I guess. Hundreds or maybe a thousand acres. I don't not, I do not know exactly how much it. Uh, uh, but they owned the property, and then when they uh, uh, he passed away, then when she passed away, she left it to the Audubon of Florida, and so the Audubon of Florida has possession of this property, and we are Lake Region Audubon Society, and we manage the property, and uh, uh, we take care of it, we maintain it, we. Uh, we do whatever needs to be done out here, and we operate strictly on, vol on with volunteers and with donations. So you don't get any money from the state or anything? We get no money from the state. We get no money from anybody except the, uh, for donations. That's all we get. And uh, we do, you know, been out here, like I said, I've been here 10 years, and they've been here since 1970 is when this property was donated. And, uh, so we've been operating it ever since. And you were saying that's where you live in that little I cottage live in over there? Cottage up there, yes. Sir. Yeah, I actually didn't even know this place existed until like a couple months ago. I just happened to come across it. We've had incidents out here where police officers have come out to check what was going on, some vandalism. <laughs> And, Is there and they lived, and they lived right across Lake Ned. They were born and raised across Lake Ned. They didn't even know it was here. And we have neighbors that come here all the time that don't even know what's here. Because it's, it's 42 acres, just nestled right in the middle of Cypress Gardens, uh, Garden Grove area. And most people don't know it's here. It's, <laughs> we get very little advertisement. And, uh, well, he, he'll put it on his thing. Well, that's good. Well, it may be very helpful. We, we, we need volunteers. Uh, we can use all the volunteers we can get out here to come out and help us do things. Um, what sort of what things do you need help with? We do everything. We do some teaching if they're, they're knowledgeable about birds and bees and uh, uh, insects and animals. They can do that and they can teach classes when we, when we have the classes scheduled. Or they can do work outside in the garden and in the yards. We have a lot of work. It's 42 acres and we have two miles of trail so you can imagine. I stay pretty busy. I could work here every day, eight hours a day, and, and still have trimming to do. <laughs> That's a lot to do. Can I take a picture of you? Well, uh, yeah. I'm going to 
going to break that thing, do you? No, 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 no. It's okay. He puts it on, just introduces you on there. Yeah, but no, 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 make sure the FBI don't see this, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, we, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great place to be able to. Uh, we have meetings every two, every, every alternate month. So next meeting is in September, the second Wednesday in the month, September. Who comes to the meetings? Mm -hmm. Who comes to the meetings? Uh, anyone is welcome to come. Uh, we have our members, most of course, most of just members. And, uh, is it membership fee? In the is community there... can come if they have an interest and they want to see what's going on or they want to speak. Uh, usually it's best to let us know ahead of time. You're going to come to, to speak and tell us what your agenda is, and you'll be allowed to, you know, to speak. But it's mostly it's just a board meeting for a business. Do you find any critters here, like your, your mastics or anything? Any what? Your mastics? Like uh, different kinds of reptiles. Reptiles. Uh, we, uh, the, uh, the largest reptile that I've seen was a large... Um, Python type creature in the late mid out here. It okay. was huge, uh, wow. and uh, I. It was way back several years ago. Uh, the last real bad winter we had, and I'm assuming the winter got it because I haven't seen it since that bad winter. So maybe the winter got it, and the alligators ate it. I don't know. Yeah. Because we have plenty of alligators. Uh, uh, the turtles, like I've already said, the. Uh, Rover turtles and uh, water turtles, you know, your soft shell and box turtles, we have them all here. You ever seen any non native reptiles or any other wildlife? Uh, that maybe is a release pet like an iguana or something like that? No, no, never. I don't think, no, the only thing we've seen out here uh, that I have seen would be the uh, uh, otters. We've seen some otters. Uh, uh, a few of those, and then of course the alligators. If you if you got a knee foot knee deep water somewhere, you're gonna have an alligator around. So yeah. We've got several alligators out there. Uh, I hear them. I see them occasionally. I hear them quite often when they're brooding, especially when they're when laying their eggs. You can hear the mother grunting if you get close by when I'm on the trail. And it's usually on the north trail. They're just usually marshy and very wet. Uh, but uh, I, I don't, I've, I've never seen one of the alligators out of the water. I've always seen them in the water, I've never seen one. Do you got any signs on that? Beware of the gators? Uh, no. Because uh, we some, had, we some. had one and some the kids tore it up. There was a sign. We, it's, we, we have, uh, unfortunately, like any area that's not policed and have a guard here all the time, we have kids that come out and vandalize. They tear up property, they tear buildings down, they, they shoot, there's a shed down by the dock. We have a dock down here. Yeah, we when we were here last, we checked out the trails a little bit and we went to the little, dock. A little shed thing beside the dock, it used to be a building. It actually had walls in it. And vandals come down and kick the walls out and eventually, you know, I mean, it's a shame that we have that, but that's part of life and that's part of society. Yeah. We don't have, if we had more activity out here in the sense of people traffic, you'd have less vandalism. This one, it's kids that are bored, yeah. kids that, are, that have uh, little no, or no home discipline. No, no discipline. And uh, they, you know, they get out here and they go a little wild. Anyone ever broken here? Oh yes, we've been broken into a couple times. My cottage has been broken into three times, and uh, they stole guns and other items and oh, trash that's bad. And, uh, It happens, but that's life. But, uh, but that's uh, like in ten years, it's not much. We, you know, I love it out here. This is a beautiful place. I'm blessed to be here. It's very nice. It's peaceful. They're always very peaceful. Um, what's this one? Uh, that's a, it's a gator. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. That's a gator. That's a cow. Well, I'm very happy we finally got a chance to um, well, I'm glad, get, I'm get glad, a look around here. I'm glad we met up. I, I was looking at my, I was at a meeting until 12 o'clock today, and I was looking at I get, I get back, I can't remember if it was 12 or 2 or whatever, I can't remember the 
the exact date. And, and I'm going to call you and I said, oh, I wrote the number down and didn't put it myself. Yeah, you'll have to give us another number yeah. for you because we, yeah. I lost it. I, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that, yeah. But uh, I, I don't want to put it on the... Yeah. Yeah, I have a business card of mine I can give you too. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a few pictures. Like with um, Circle B, do you ever do any work with them? Oh, yeah. We, we, we're we at the Circle B all the time. Uh, I say, when I say we, I'm, I'm talking about our group. And uh, our president, Rainier, he's everywhere. He's always busy, busy, busy. He's a great guy. Uh, he, he is licensed to take care of eagles or pick up eagles and um, um, hawks and uh, you know predator birds and, and he works at the uh, Maitland uh, predator uh, location where they take predators. So we found like an injured animal we can call here injured, or something like that? Injured animal, yes. An injured animal, small animal you can call Joan Waters and I, I don't mind and give her her number. It's 863 um, Nine six seven three two nine eight nine eight three two nine eight and uh, Joan Waters and she'll take care of like you know injured squirrels or small animals and so forth. Uh, any other kind of uh, birds you call um, Rainier. You know, it's on our, our website. Now, when Cypress Gardens existed, did you do anything with them? Because I know they had no, animals no, there and no, a lot of gardens. We, we, we uh, now. When Cypress Gardens was here, there would be groups of people that would come out here that would, you know, in that area that, you know, that, that worked there mainly. But no, we don't have any connection with uh, Lego Land or Cypress Gardens. Or anything. We were ba basically independent here and uh, we work with other groups like ours, like Audubon groups. And, uh, we, uh, but we pretty well take, just take care of this property and uh, teach classes out here and teach classes over at Circle B and, and other locations around. You know, Tenerot, we go to classes out at Tenerot and have uh, schools out there. So. Have you ever thought of this home being an older one ever again? It historical status, probably like the state. So maybe something like that might be able to help you a little bit more with keeping it up. Well, we uh, it's like we operate only on dona donations and volunteer help. So it's just anyone that is uh, able to donate, we're, we're always happy to have donations. And uh, anyone that's uh, physically capable, come out and do a little work. We can clean up, you know, clean up uh, the area, work in our butterfly garden. They can work in trimming hedges and trees and uh, limbs and things like that. We have that always. You're always going to have that and you got 42 acres of land with a lot of woods on it and trails. I, I, I saw that butterfly garden over there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, do you breed them or on which now? the butterfly garden you are talking about? But, yeah, butterfly garden. We try to put plants in, in there that will accommodate the native you know, butterflies that are here. And we put... Uh, we put any kind of plant in there that, that, that butterflies would go to, but uh, we emphasize native plants, of course, but uh, we don't put any plant. But yeah, they, we try to plant the types of um, uh, food that they eat, and, and they uh, them. Then also sometimes they lay their chrysalis on the eggs and things on other plants that they don't necessarily eat, but the larva eats it. When the larva hatches out, they'll eat on a certain kind of a plant. And uh, so we try to plant all that available, make it available for them to, to uh, you know, propagate. Hi there. Yep. Yeah, we turn the air on if we have a meeting, of course. Do you have a map for the trails? Uh, yes, I do. I'll get you one. Okay. Uh, and this is one. This is like um, one of the canoes. Uh, one of the canoes. This is a. This is an old dugout that someone found. It's, it has deteriorated obviously over the years, but it's an old Indian dugout. If you can see that, if it shows up at all. 
you know who found it? And it's in here. It's written in here. Um, it's about a hundred year old canoe, Bradley uh, Joe, Bradley Joe Murdered, an amateur archaeologist, found it in uh, the year. I don't see a date. Someone took the date off of the thing. But uh, it's a you know, natural dugout. That's one of the turtles that expired out here and we just saved his remains. Let me get you a trail. Is this okay, Tanker? Yes. He's the one that he wanted the trail. It's too hot right now. Oh, no, thanks. And um, where Here, are we? This is a cottage, and here's the big house. The main trail comes this way down into the lake where the dock is, and the shed that's left, what's left of it. And then all the trails work around, you know, they'll all come back here to the parking area or back to the house or the driveway. Okay, great, thanks. Sure. And who is this that the library is named after? Is this Cooper Library here? Uh, uh, that was uh, uh, Buck and Linda Cooper. They, were, they lived here before I did. They lived here for many years, 10, 12, 13 years. And they took, after, took care of the place you know, before I got here. And uh, the, the, so it was named after them. They, uh, they st and they're still members and still work. It's not very large, but it's got tons of types of books and on every t everything, not just birds, but on other snakes and reptiles and creatures and so forth. That's Buck and Linda Cooper right here. This is Buck and Linda Cooper. And this is the uh, street family, the ones that donated the property. This is Norman and Luella uh, Street. Well, really, thanks um, for showing us the place. Sure, like I said, we, we want to get in here and look around. Right. Well, I'm glad you, glad you can make. Here's a plaque we have for, uh, we have projects that the Boy Scouts uh, notify us when they have an Eagle Scout, uh, per person going up for an Eagle Scout, and they have to have wildlife projects and different projects that they have to do to make, to get their Eagle badge. And this, the, these are some of the ones listed, some of the ones that we've sponsored and took care of here. So. A lot of information for a little place. Yeah, like, like you said, too. We didn't even know this place existed. Yeah. Well, we get that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Don't put that up. Do you ever use the fireplace ever? I never have since I've been here. It is, uh, I was told, it has been used and it's active, but uh, I hear birds up in there, so I don't, I don't go with it. And, uh, wouldn't want to disturb them. Right. Unless they're little swallows or birds. You know. Right. <laughs> 